The 2021-22 NBA season has been an eventful one, to say the least. And while teams like the Phoenix Suns have already secured themselves a place in the play-ins, it's the Lakers who have been making headlines. Fans of Los Angeles are underwhelmed with their team lying ninth overall in the Western Conference. But what do we really know about this and which other NBA news stories are important? For all this and more, stay tuned. Number one, first of all, let's tackle the so-called defiance of Russell Westbrook. As many Lakers fans are suggesting that this is the reason why their team is falling apart at the seams. For those of you who don't know, Westbrook was drafted in the first round back in 2008 by the Seattle Supersonics. And while the team went on to become the Oklahoma City Thunder just a few days later, it was Westbrook's performance at their games that really shocked the fan base. The man was a legend from day one and easily secured himself a spot on the NBA All-Rookies first team. For many, Westbrook was considered to be the future. And while his long stint at Oklahoma City finally came to an end in 2019, experts couldn't have expected the fall from grace that was about to happen. In the last couple of years, Westbrook has traveled from team to team in an attempt to relive his glory days. And after ending up on the Lakers in August of last year, fans of the California native that things were about to get better. Unfortunately for Westbrook though, he found himself somewhat confused by the setup of the squad. With big names like LeBron James and Anthony Davis on the court alongside him, he had no idea what his role was supposed to be. And when he was relegated to the support structure of the squad, tensions began to rise. He now averages around 18.1 points a game with 7.7 .7 rebounds, 7.3 assists, and 3.9 turnovers. Not exactly the stats he's used to. And according to reports, it's because of this that insiders are pushing for his benching. Head coach Frank Vogel has apparently been placed under quite a lot of pressure to get rid of the expensive point guard before the Lakers' hopes of making the playoffs come crashing down in a fire of immense disappointment. But this may be impossible, considering the contract that Westbrook ended up signing with the team late last year. This would explain why Vogel didn't take the leap and trade Westbrook while he could a couple of weeks ago. Despite the fact that fans were baying for blood, the management of the Los Angeles Lakers have found themselves between a rock and a hard place. You see, he's owed a whopping 47 million US dollars by the organization, which doesn't make the trade of the professional very palatable. And since he hasn't been making an impact on the court, it goes without saying that many are calling for him to be benched. That being said, Westbrook and the coaching staff have vastly different opinions on how he should be utilized in the future. And according to rumors currently making the rounds, these differences have resulted in more tension than the Lakers have ever faced before, and this is saying something considering the history of the team. The frustration could be heard in Westbrook's voice on Sunday when the Lakers finally defeated the Golden State Warriors, their fourth win in the last 15 games. In fact, he stated with disdain that he has no idea what his role is anymore. So then, what is the next best step for the Lakers? This is pretty hard to say considering the tough scenario the team currently finds itself in. The fans are undoubtedly frustrated with Westbrook for not performing the way he should, despite being surrounded by some of the best players in the history of the game. But since the organization owes him so much money, getting rid of him is going to be next to impossible at the moment, especially now that the trade period has come and gone. We also have a feeling that Vogel is holding on as much as possible so that the initial investment in Westbrook by the Lakers isn't considered to be a big waste. The team wants to get their money's worth when it comes to the use of the California native and will no doubt use him however they wish in the future. But as you've now seen, this constant fluctuation in role adoption has caused Westbrook to become confused. And while insiders have been pushing for him to be benched as a result, he has come out swinging by refusing to be made a bench warmer. In the end, it's the Lakers as a team that are losing the most out of this tension-filled environment. And the only way to truly get things going again is to have a sit-down where things are spoken about in blunt terms. Either way, we need to see Los Angeles playing together again, as without that world-class teamwork, things are falling apart completely. Number two, in other news, it sounds like the 76ers had a hard time against the Nets, which is quite hard to believe considering how the game was said to be one of the most anticipated matchups this season. But in a lopsided victory of note, the Brooklyn Nets marched into Philadelphia and ended up walking away with a victory of 129-100. to This marks the first game that the 76ers have lost since the trade for James Harden, who seemed to be missing from the action when the Nets were running the court. Don't get us wrong, Harden was actually present at the time, but for some or other reason he just
just couldn't find his stride in the matchup. This is essentially true when compared to his opposition, Kevin Durant, who came into Philadelphia with fire in his eyes. In just 32 minutes, the Washington native had secured 25 points, 14 rebounds, and 7 assists for the Nets, a showcase that 76ers fans were expecting from Harden and the rest of their squad. But that's not the only troubling thing for the Sixers. All players have their fair share of ups and downs, and we have no doubt that James Harden will come back with a vengeance in the next few weeks to come. But one question that remains unanswered for the squad is how it'll be able to measure up against offense-driven teams like the Nets in the future. Many were already asking this question during the Harden trade, and it feels like things have finally come to fruition. Either way, the Sixers have some work to do. Number three, a player who isn't having performance issues right now is Ja Morant, though. The Memphis phenomenon who's putting on a show at the moment and making a last-ditch push to achieve the Kia MVP slot that he so justifiably deserves, and although the Grizzlies were beaten senseless by the Boston Celtics last week Friday, Morant ended the game in pretty high spirits. When asked what Memphis has to do moving forward, the point guard responded by referring to the defeat as nothing more than a learning experience. Rather than feeling disappointed by the loss, he chose to look to the future and insisted that the team had a lot of work to do going forward. In his own words, we've just got to study the film, see what we can do better at, learn from it, and when the time comes to play this team again or any other team that plays similar, be ready. He also admitted that he has a lot to improve on when it comes to big match temperament. And this was quite clear from the matchup, which saw him scoring just eight points in the first half. It may be true that he then made up for this in the second with an impressive 30 points, but an epic first half would have surely secured the victory for Memphis. The young man is currently at number five in this week's Kia race to the MVP ladder, and with a little more work, he may very well be number one in the days to come. Number four, last but not least, there's been an off-season trade talk in the last few days. With many experts in the field insisting that this is the only way hopeless teams of the 2021-22 NBA season could find a better bearing when next year comes around, there is just one month left for teams to secure a spot in the playoffs after all. So the teams at the button of the ladder have nothing but next season to work towards anyway. The Detroit Pistons, for example, will allegedly be getting rid of F. Jeremiah Grant when the offseason comes around, even though they chose to hold on to him for the remainder of the 21-22 season, and if rumors are to be believed, he may be traded to the Atlanta Hawks in exchange for Kevin Herter, F. DeAndre Hunter, or both. This would no doubt inject a little more pace into Detroit, which the team has been sorely lacking in the past few games. And there you have it, just some of the basketball headlines that have been making the rounds at the moment. What do you think of the situation the Lakers currently find themselves in, though? And does Morant stand at securing the MVP spot? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below.